Okay, in this video, I'm going to show you how to repair the tip hole if you manage to break off a tip. So, backstory earlier today, I was doing a surface cleaning job and the lady had eye bolts sticking up in, on her patio. Look at that, man. I spent two hours in the pool just now. <laughs> Look at that. It's terrible. Golly, dude. Anyhow, and unbeknownst to me, the, the eye bolts were there. I swung the surface cleaner around, bam, knocked it out, and busted it up pretty good in there. Here's what we have. I have this tool and die set from Harbor Freight, and it requires a 1 4th by 18 NPT. So I'm going to set this down and show you how to do this. If you don't know how to do this, this is a great, you know what, 10 bucks. I don't know what that costs. I've had it for years. So, uh, and it works great. So essentially you put this in here in righty tighty, lefty loosey, and you then um, create new threads. You don't want to go down too far, but I'm going to try to set, you know what? I don't think there's any way that I can set this up to be able to do this. So can you just trust me? So I'll try to do it. First of all, it's going to probably go in there a little bit at first, maybe. It is, okay, so I'm having, I'm, I've got good luck here. So I'm getting a little bite here with just my hand. I've got a crescent wrench or a an adjustable wrench. I don't know, it's Pittsburgh, so it's not an actual crescent, and it's quite rusty, but it's, it'll do the job. Okay, so we're doing this, all right? Showing you this. I'm doing this one-handed. I'm gonna have to set this down. Hold on, don't go anywhere. I don't know if you can see that or not. So I had four opportunities today Got home by, I think, 3 o'clock. And by 3.20, the fresh was in the pool. Okay, you don't want to go too far. Let me back it out. You got to blow in it. Mrs. Fred. Oops. Sorry. I'm sure Mrs. Fresh appreciates me working. Okay, so I have a whole bag full of old um, nozzles. We need a 25025. 2502s, zero tip, 2502s, 25025. Where you at? Where you be, man? I got all kinds here. So I have an assortment here of nozzles. None of them are 25025s. I'm really surprised. However, I went back to the truck and I have a set of 2503s. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a 2503 here and a 2503 here. These are 25025s on the inside. And I'll be using this a lot with the 10 GPM machine, so that will help. And then I'll just order a set of 25025s. It's probably due regardless. So off camera, I will put these in. And of course I have Teflon tape. I'll be using, again, the 2503s for the outside. We're gonna see if this works. Don't go anywhere. All right, setting you back down there again. Again. I like it when people say again. Get this bad boy like this. Boom. 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 About five times. All right. Let's see if it works. Sorry I don't have a camera set up for you for that. For this and I need to go get a socket don't go anywhere 
Okay, I'm back. Uh, I've got a 9 16 deep well socket. Fits these nozzles or tips just fine. So, put that on there. Turn it ever so gently. Righty tighty. Lefty loosey. Can you see that okay? Voila. All right. They need to be parallel to the bar. I'll show you that here in a moment. So you can see where these are parallel along the line of the bar so i have a four tip bar on this 19 inch whisper wash so now i'll take this one out excuse me i'll take this one out and put in a 2503 don't go anywhere okay off camera i put in the 2503s and again i prefer the 25025s because i do use it with the 10 gpm machine it works just fine with the eight as well of course uh, generally speaking, you want to go, you know, just, just do a little math here. Um, you've got an eight GPM machine, so you want it to, to add up to eight. So 25 O2s, 25 O2, 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 O2. That would be, uh, eight because four times two is eight. But I'm running this also with the 10 GPM, so the 25025 seems to work best for me. We'll go with the threes until I can call Russ Johnson at Southside Equipment and order a two, two sets. I always have to like to have a backup, and apparently I didn't order the backup to this backup. Anyhow, let's take it around front and give it a whirl. Okay, I have it all put together. I have not run it yet. machine the 10 gpm machine one-handed let's see how it works oh yeah Working just fine. I've got a big concrete job tomorrow, and so I like to have a good backup. So I want to encourage you to go online or go to Harbor Freight and pick up the tool and die set. And uh, there you have it. I hope that you enjoyed this. If you did, be sure to like and subscribe. Be sure to hit the bell tab, and you and I can spend lots of time together. Leave a comment. I know there'll be some negatives in there this time. That's okay. There's more than one way to skin a cat. And that's how I do it. My name is Mike. They call me the Fresh Rinse. And I'm out.